Thank you. I now give the floor to the delegate of Armenia and I invite the delegate of Czechia to come to the rostrum. <clears throat> Madam Chair, distinguished Director General, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to take part in the 75th World Assembly and indeed we need to appreciate the opportunity of being physically present here in Geneva after a long pause caused by COVID-19 pandemic. So far, I'm glad that the pandemic has receded to an extent allowing Armenia to reopen and reprofile its health facilities to be able to serve a large number of population. We have regained our ability to a long-term planning in a calmer environment, which we should never take for granted. As the world witnessed decrease in overall vaccine uptake during the COVID-19 pandemic due to vaccination process disruptions, child immunization numbers have suffered significantly. I'm glad to note that we have registered a good progress in this respect with child immunization numbers in Armenia being considerably improved compared to 2021 with full coverage of all age groups being higher than 90%. Using the opportunity, I would thank all partner organizations and countries for their invaluable support throughout the past two years in delivering essential and life-saving COVID vaccines. Multilateral cooperation around our joint struggle with the novel coronavirus proved that solidarity is the only way forward against global challenges. As a result of the pandemic, a significant increase in the demand for psychological and psychiatric services was registered in Armenia. Our government provided free psychological support to citizens treated in COVID hospitals, medical workers, and vulnerable groups. In March, 2022, we have established Mental Health Coalition with the participation of over 40 organizations, governmental agencies, and associations. We are also honored to be a part of the Pan-European Mental Health Co Coalition, and I'm confident that this initiative will help in ensure the mental health well-being of our citizens in all times. The 44-day uh, war in 2020, unleashed by Azerbaijan against the people of Nagorno-Karabakh, has also contributed to the increase in the demand of psychological support, along with other healthcare issues. The continued refusal of the Azerbaijan to repatriate prisoners of war in violation of international humanitarian law is one of the contributing factors to this. The inability of international organizations, including WHO, to access the Nagorno-Karabakh due to political stance of Azerbaijan, aggravate the situation by leaving the people of Nagorno-Karabakh behind and devoid of much needed humanitarian and medical support. Dear colleagues, we have planning to uh, the introduction of comprehensive health insurance in Armenia for a long time, but the pandemic shifted our timelines. We are currently in a process of developing of coherent policy of introducing insurance policy a scheme as Excuse early me, please, as you next conclude, year. Conclude your, With, yeah, come. I'm also pleased to inform that Armenia will hold the fifth global uh, emergency medical teams meeting in October, bringing together diverse emergency med medical teams community from all six regions. Finally, I would like to wish every success to the 75th World Health Assembly and thank you for your attention. Thank you.